Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a full day of eating in my anorexia recovery. Um, but before we do get started, I just wanted to say that this is just one example of what I eat one day in my recovery. Not every day looks like this, it does differ day to day. Um, and everyone's recovery journey is going to look different, so please don't compare to what yours is looking like at the minute. Um, I am in a healthy weight range for BMI, I am medically stable, um, so I don't have like a set meal plan that I'm going off or anything like that, but I do just try to eat a minimum of three snacks and three meals a day. But other than that, let's get started because I am starving. <laughs> I did my makeup for this video instead of getting breakfast first thing in the morning, which is what I would normally do. Um, so I am pretty hungry now, so let's get started. got breakfast. I got porridge and there's banana, biscoff, almonds and granola in it. Mm. Before I start eating, sorry if the back background noise because I'm going to be eating outside for this video um, because my room's a mess. And secondly, my makeup, let's address it. My eyelashes are falling off because my eye won't stop watering. But I wanted to have cool makeup because I'm going to film some TikToks today. It's a bit embarrassing to say. Um, and also, I'm just having the worst breakouts since recovery. Like, I've never had breakouts this bad. It's awful. But you know, it's all part of the process. So we're just going to, we're going to trust the process. Um, but you'll probably see this makeup get worse throughout the day as my watery eye makes all my makeup get fucked up. Anyway, I'm going to eat this and um, I guess I might like speed up me eating and then uh, I will see you afterwards. ready for a snack. That rhymed. Anyway, um, I'm trying the Panna Organic Salted Caramel. Um, I'm really loving their chocolate at the moment. They're like, they're just hitting different. I remember when I first tried Panna Organic Chocolate in like, 
I think it was 2016, and I wasn't that big of a fan, but man, have they changed the game. That's what it looks like. Let's try a bit. It's not as good as their their white chocolate. It kind of has a funny taste. But I don't know what it is. Mm. I'm not the biggest fan of that one. It's not bad. But it has a bit of a funny taste, and I can't put my finger on it. Anyway, I'm going to finish that, and I'm going to... My battery is dying, so I'm going to put that on charge, so that when I have lunch, it is fully charged, and I'll kind of talk to you guys a bit more um, about what my recovery is like so far, and um, future video ideas as well. But, yeah, I'll see you when I have lunch. Okay, it might be a little bit loud in the background, <laughs> um, it is raining, and it sounds really loud in my flat, but um, I've tried to wait for the rain to pass, and it is not passing, and I'm just really hungry, so I'm going to be making this mac and cheese, it is the Well and Good Cheesy Mac Smoky Bacon Flavor, I have tried the original one, and it was really yummy, so hopefully this one is just as good, and I'll put nutritional yeast on that as well and then I'm also going to make a Milo as well so I will go make those and I will see you then So, I've got my mac and cheese, so we'll see how it tastes. It's still like boiling hot though. Um, but I wanted to talk a bit about like what video I wanted to film next, because originally I wasn't going to film this video, I was going to film like my anorexia story, like basically how I ended up here. Um, but... I don't know. It's going to be a long video and I don't know if that's going to interest anyone or if that would be like boring because it might even have to be two videos because it's definitely not something as much as I'll try and condense it down it can only be condensed so much and then I mean I have like other mental health illnesses problems um that I feel like contribute a lot to my anorexia as well and so I don't know if I just do like an entire mental health journey video or if I do just the anorexia story anyone 
please let me know what you think, what you would prefer to see. Would you prefer just that targeted video for like anorexia or would you prefer to see like my whole mental health journey? In which case that will be a long video or videos. Um, but yeah, I want to know what you want to see and what won't be boring for you. So let me know. Um, but let's have some of this. After this, I'm gonna. I need to clean my rat cage. Um, because they've made a bit of a mess. Um, and probably take them out for play as well. Mm. Yeah, that's good. That's good. stirred my Milo through, but I didn't. That was really loud. But, um, I didn't, so. Whoops. I don't think I get it again. Not when there's a normal cheese flavour available. I don't know. I just get weird with fake meats. They freak me out. I'm gonna need something sweet in, like, a couple of minutes, but I think I will... Let that sit. Oh my god, now I've got the hiccups. Indigestion, literally. With everything. I never had it before, having anorexia, but now it's just like I could literally eat watermelon and I get indigestion. It just it doesn't matter what I eat, it just happens. Um but yeah, I'll let that sit for a bit. And then I'll have something sweet. While I wait, I am going to tidy up my room and then tidy up the raddies cage as well because they've made a bit of a mess but I will see you when I have my something sweet I have to think about what I want to have I'm not sure yet okay <laughs> So what have I got for a snack? I've got Biscoff, Crunchy, I've got Sierra Trail Mix, Cliff Bar, and also a chocolate bar. This is like a bounty, if you've had a bounty, so it's just like chocolate covered coconut. Um, so I'm going to dip all that stuff in this, because that's what I feel like. Um, so, let's open this chocolate bar if I can. Oh shit. Ah! Okay. Oh. It it got melted. So it's like all you know, it doesn't look very appealing. Anyway. I should not leave chocolate on the floor. The rats will get it. How am I feeling? Um <laughs> Uh, how am I feeling? <laughs> I swallowed it down the wrong hole. Oh my god. Um. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. I'm not dying. Um, I am feeling a bit, these past couple days, my mood's a bit off. I'm feeling a bit depressed. Um, 
my eating disorder, having been in an inpatient facility, I was in there for a little bit too long. My eating disorder started to like being there. Um, lately it's been wanting me to go back. Um, I need water. Two seconds. Um, so yeah, it's been wanting me to go back. It just makes it seem like this great place. Like this, like, this, like, hotel that everyone should go to. It's not. It's a fucking psych ward. So I'm just trying to like remind myself that I don't want to go back there and that that's like a disordered thing. <clears throat> but it's hard. And obviously to go there, well, I could just be like, yeah, I'm feeling suicidal or something like that. But generally my, what my eating disorder is telling me to do is to get sick enough that I have to be readmitted. But, like, we're not going to do that. That's not what we're here for. <music> Unpopular opinion, Sierra Trail Mix is one of the best flavours. It's just a fact, so I'm not really taking, not really taking anyone else's opinion on that. My eating disorder is also making me remember things that I don't want to remember. Like, it's bringing up things that would trigger me to not eat. Um, things that I felt like I would have to punish myself for. And it's just bringing them up again because it's like, I know this works. So if I bring you back this memory, will you not eat? No, bitch. I'm an egg. dent in this crunchy one. I just ran out of my regular. So the crunchy's nice. I do like the crunchy. It has like the pieces of biscuit in it. I don't know why I felt the need to explain that. I was like mansplaining to you. The next time I film um, will probably be dinner time. Um, I think I'm going to have pesto pasta because I already in my head was like, I want pesto pasta for dinner. And then my eating disorder was like, but you had mac and cheese at lunch and you can't have pasta and have pasta again. And so that has just solidified the fact that I have to have pesto pasta tonight because that's a stupid rule. Carbs are the main energy source of the body. If I want to have pasta at every meal of the day go for it I should I should do that so I'm gonna have pesto pasta for dinner um, with a whole avocado assuming that the avocado is not gross I haven't checked yet but um yeah with a whole avocado nutritional yeast all that good stuff because I can have as much pasta in a day as I want there's no rule Okay, I'll see you guys at dinner. I hope the lighting's okay. <laughs> it's getting late, but I'm just here with dinner. It's pesto pasta. 
with nutritional yeast and there is some avocado in there but my avocado was not quite ripe so there's not a lot oh my god it's so good it's so good hi my little ratties they're ready to come out and play I just had a bit of avocado that was like really hard but otherwise it's delicious. just for a bit why I know I have to keep moving forward even when I'm struggling right now and that's because last time I felt like this you know like my body was recovering so much faster than my mind I was impatient and I basically put a complete hold on everything I was like I'm not gaining any more weight put me on a maintenance diet that's it and so they did, they put me on a maintenance diet because I was in the healthy BMI range. Um, but instead of that being like time for me to heal, <laughs> I ended up just losing weight slowly again. And so right now I'm feeling that way again. I'm like, oh my gosh, my body is recovering so much faster than my mind. And I'm going to look like I'm completely okay, but mentally I'm not okay, but I'm eating all the time, so people are going to think I'm all okay. And the thing I want to do is like, well, let's just put everything on hold. But I know that doesn't work. Like, that's what I did last time, and it didn't work. And I think the cruel and unusual punishment with eating disorder recovery is that your body is always going to recover before your mind. Like, always. It's... It's just, it's the worst part of it, but it's just, whoa, <laughs> voice crack. Um, but it is just like the way it goes. Your body is going to recover first. Which is, you know, that's hard. But... It'll be fine. It's fine. It has to be fine. I have to keep going because otherwise I know I'm just going to do what I did last time. So this is where I have to try my hardest and fight my hardest. I'm killing my demons and that's why she's screaming louder. I need to keep going. Okay. Well, I am probably going to take the ratties out for some playtime because they're looking like they're awake. So I'll probably do that and while I'm doing that I'm going to charge up my battery again because I keep not letting it charge properly. So it keeps dying. Um, and then I will see you guys when it's time for dessert. I think I want a bit of a bigger dessert tonight because I didn't have as much pasta as I did the night before. Not on purpose but just... I'm, can anyone tell how much pasta they pour? Anyone? No. I don't know. I'm like, wow, that's way too much. And then I get it and I'm like, that's not enough. Or I'll be like, oh, that's not going to be enough. And then I get it and I'm like, holy hell, this is a lot of pasta. And there's no in between. <laughs> anyway, I will see you at dessert. Okay, let's sit down and have dessert. Got a little bit of a Milo going on. Oh man, that's good. Mm. Got things falling everywhere. So, something I don't really know what's going on, why I'm doing this. 
but I have been on a spending money train like it's like impulsive like I just don't have control or I don't feel like I have control but I obviously don't really know what control is because I thought my eating disorder gave me control so but yeah I am on like a spending spree so I've like bought so much stuff for my rats and then like I bought these earrings from Pandora I don't even know how much they were I did not check um but they say loved on them which is really cute and then I have this bangle and I bought first I bought this little like cat charm which you're not even gonna get to see because it won't focus but I bought that and it wasn't that expensive so it was fine but then the next day I went in and I bought a gold charm gold that's expensive why did I do that my psychologist is like it's okay you're like self-care but I'm like is it self-care or am I just out of control Wait, maybe it is self-care. Maybe I'm just being mean to myself. I don't know. So that's fun. The good news is though, because I'm spending money on other things, I haven't been able to hoard food, which if you have followed my Instagram account for a while, you'll know I have an issue with food hoarding. I tend to hoard food. I buy in like, it's it was snacks. I would always have to go to the shops to buy new fresh fruit and veg, which was like the only thing I'd let myself eat. And so then when I'd go there, I'd go down the snack aisle, buy snacks as well, then not eat them. Then the next time I had to go buy fresh fruit, I'd go down the snack aisle again, buy more snacks, not eat them, and I just ended up hoarding a lot of food. And I felt really um out of control when I go to the store like I couldn't not buy this food I had to do it so by having to buy things for like the rats and stuff like that stuff like that and me like I don't even want to admit to spending money on myself um but yeah it has helped I haven't hoarded food and I'm actually finally getting through my snacks which is good yeah. Okay, so I didn't know what I wanted for dessert, but we're going to start off with a drumstick vanilla bean choc almond ice cream. These are really delicious. If you are in Australia, I definitely, I don't know where else has drumstick. Does New Zealand? I feel like New Zealand would as well. New Zealand probably does as well. I'm probably dumb, it probably like came from New Zealand or something. But anyway, um, I definitely recommend drumstick. I don't, you don't have drumsticks in the States, do you? Or is that Cornetto? You don't have one of them. It's not, you don't have drumsticks, do you? Or you don't have drumsticks like we have in Australia. I don't know, I remember wanting to tag them once and then I noticed that either you don't have drumsticks or it's different. I'll shut up. I'm probably going to have like chocolate on my teeth. Or around my mouth. Oh, I got changed into this jumper because my pantsuit that I was wearing no longer fit. <laughs> Bloating. Um, yeah, it was just getting tight and kind of uncomfortable. Honestly, it was getting uncomfortable earlier in the day, but I really wanted to keep wearing it. Whereas I should have just like got out of it. Because when I take took it off, I already had like indentations. Yeah. Oh, one of my raddies is sneezing. Um, I have felt, you know when you know you're going to cry? I've felt that like all day and I'm just avoiding it. I'm just like, no, we're going to do something else. We're going to do this other thing. Because I don't have the emotional availability to cry right now. 
but it's it's right there and I know I'm just gonna have to have, like have a cry and have a sad but I don't want to do it it's so hard to get yourself out of that once I'm down there but I know I'm just putting it off and it's the inevitable because I can feel it mm. it's annoying I don't know I'm just getting like so triggered at the minute and I think it is because like of just where I'm at in recovery it's like it's that that real like turning point for me where I'm either gonna like run back to my disorder or I'm going to keep going it's 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 as soon as I start to get uncomfortable like eating disorder recovery is all fun and games at the beginning when like nothing's actually happening but as soon as I start to see my body change I'm like oh shit <laughs> we don't want that but like that is that is what's gonna happen I can't you can't recover from a restrictive eating disorder without gaining weight like it's just it's what's gonna happen but it's scary oh but it shouldn't be scary it's a weight I shouldn't have lost in the first place Ooh, my head's just like you weren't ever sick enough but like I keep telling myself like I want to advocate for the fact that you know you don't have to be underweight to be anorexic and that eating disorder come eating disorders come at every size and like if I'm literally being in my own head like no Borgia you weren't underweight enough like no I'm adding to this I'm adding to the stigma I'm trying to dismantle stop it Portia stop it <laughs> but it's so hard no matter how much I remind myself that like I, I honestly will always be like thinking like no I want to be the skinniest sickest illest girl at the inpatient facility and then I'm like no that's not what you want that's not what you want you want to dismantle diet culture and the patriarchy and be a boss bitch and I just have to keep like saying that to myself <laughs> Because it really feels like I want to be the sickest person at inpatient. Ah! But that's not a thing. That's not a thing. That's not real. And that's not something that I should want. Yeah. The problem solving to this is I'm going to eat something. I have this nut butter filled cliff bar. This is the last one I have of this. I didn't like these compared to normal Cliff Bars. I was saving this one to microwave it, but now I can't be bothered to go to the microwave. So instead, I'm just going to eat it dipped in Biscoff. Oh my god, it smells so good. It's peanut butter flavoured. I'm going to reach for the Biscoff. Sorry, my memory card got full because I didn't delete my previous video off of it. So that's why the video stopped, but I'm back. thought about eating a mandarin and sharing it with my rats they're female rats so they can have citrus fruits and then I was like but do you really want the mandarin but the fact that I'm questioning it probably means that I should just get the mandarin so I'm gonna do that two seconds mm, this mandarin's looking a bit dodgy on the inside she's looking like she might be going off let me try one Okay, wait. There's a few bad bits, but there's also a few good bits, so. I'm gonna give the 
the rest, which is like most of it, to the rats because you know when you can tell, I can tell that those bits aren't going to taste good. That sounds weird but they have like that dark colouring on them where they start to taste funky. Which is kind of disappointing because I was really enjoying the fruit and don't really have anything else. I have dates but I don't really, for once in my life I don't want them because I find them like sweet, like like this sweet. Like they just are so maple syrupy caramelly and I kind of feel like I've had enough of that. I have like a chia pod yogurt thing. But it's chocolate flavoured as well, I don't think I can do any more chocolate. I think I'm okay. I think I'm just... I think I'm just wishing I had fruit, but I don't. I could do granola, but that's in my house. My house house, I'm in my flat. I don't really feel like walking in there. So I think I'm good. I might have like a midnight snack or something, but I think that's probably going to be the last of um, what I show you that I eat. If anything, I'll have like a midnight snack. Um, later, normally my sleeping meds knock me out pretty well though. But we'll see. Um, but that's pretty much what I eat in a day. I will show you guys my bloat, what I look like in the mirror. At the end of the day, I should have done like the start of the day so you could see like the difference but yeah anyway I'll show you okay so that's my bloat isn't she pretty and I can like suck in like oh my gosh that's so uncomfortable but like that's what it looks like when I'm just you know letting it be it is a bit painful but it's not the worst to be honest as long as I'm wearing nice stretchy clothes. Okay, so thank you for watching this video, for watching my full day of eating. Um, remember some days I eat more, some days I eat less. This is just like one example of one day. Um, I wouldn't say I'm in extreme hunger at the minute. I'm hungry, but I wouldn't say... I don't know if I'd say it's extreme hunger. So if that was as well, like if you're going through extreme hunger, you're probably going to be eating different than me as well. I wouldn't say I'm in extreme hunger, but I am hungry. I do still have my, I do now have my hunger cues. I am hungry, but I wouldn't say I'm going through extreme hunger. Um, though some days, yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I feel like I've been a bit all over the place today. I'm not, I didn't realise how weird it would be like having like the camera with me all day and at all my meals and yeah, it was interesting <laughs> but I'm definitely a bit all over the place. Um, I feel like more than when I just sit down and film. You guys get to see my full chaotic energy <laughs> that I have. This is me all day. Um, but honestly, it's actually kind of helped me get out of bed today, filming this, like, from just before my eating disorder started till now, I have just been in, I don't even know if you can call it a depressive episode, it's a depressive season. <laughs> At this point, like, and it's just so hard for me to do anything, like, when I say anything, I mean, like, brushing my teeth anything. That's how hard it is. I can't even brush my teeth. Depressive episode season. Um, so this kind of helped me get up and just do something. Even though it was like filming and it wasn't that big of a, a deal and to most people who, you know, like go to work and study and do productive things with their life, which is what I want to do, I swear. Being able to actually just like get up and like commit to filming a video and you know, putting some makeup on, getting dressed nice, making some TikToks, like just stuff that would seem like leisurely to other people is honestly kind of hard work for me and 
I am proud that I managed to do it, even if it is the bare minimum. I'm still proud that I brushed my teeth today and showered and washed my hair. <laughs> Will I probably end up not getting out of bed tomorrow because I'll be so exhausted? Yes, but I did it. Anyway, I'm off on a like a tangent. I'm my brain is scrambled. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't use this to compare your intake. Everyone's recovery is going to look different. Um, but I hope it does inspire you to eat. Okay? Eat, please. Something, anything, just eat. And with that said, thank you for watching my video. I will see you next time. Um, make sure to like, leave a comment, um, I love hearing from you, and yeah, I'll see you next time.